So what's the difference between data scientist, data engineer, ML engineer, ML ops engineer? If you look at the data science project lifecycle, the business requirements comes from the business leaders, domain experts, and then we get the data, process the data, clean the data, analyze the data, do a machine learning modeling, predictive models, and then we deploy it, and then we maintain it. In early days of data science, this entire work, the entire project life cycle is actually done by data scientists. Those days, the projects were small, proof of concepts, many companies were trying out things, right? And data scientists used to do the entire, from collecting the data to cleaning the data, processing it, analyzing it, exploring the data, doing the machine learning predictive modeling, and then deploy, even maintain them. As the field or mature and complex, now the business are using data science as one of the major tools. They are in production. Data scientists started focusing on only the, the core part, which is which is they're supposed to do, which is analyzing, exploring data, making sense of it, and then creating the machine learning predictive models, and then make these models more efficient and effective. The rest of the uh, project lifecycle, for example, the data collection and data cleaning is done by data engineers. So data engineers as a role specializes specialize in collecting the data and cleaning them and processing them, getting it ready for the data scientist. And then when the data scientist gets the, road, uh, the code ready, right, the model is working as for the business requirements. Right? You see that the, the code itself is really a, a big Jupyter notebook or similar to that. And it is, it is a lot of experimentation. It is not really production ready. So that's where the ML engineer comes into picture. ML engineer, essentially a software engineer with machine learning knowledge, can translate or so transform this code into production ready code. From uh, the experimental or the, the model code, what data scientists do is translated into production ready structured code by taking care of all the aspects, converting the code into a more structured OOPS code, object oriented code, and then managing the exceptions, exception handling, memory management, all the other things, or creating the different files for automated deployment and stuff. And then they maintain the model, deploy and maintain the model. So that's what these three roles do. And because we have three different roles now, there's a need for a better coordination, better process, so that they all work together in a rhythm. And this is a, is a concept of DevOps. So DevOps from software engineering um, does this and then MLOps is evolved or inspired by DevOps. So MLOps engineer essentially ensures the coordination between these uh, these different roles so that the work from the from the data gathering till it is deployed flows smoothly. So MLOps also talks about continuous integration, continuous deployment, continuous delivery. In addition to that, we also talk about continuous training. So MLOps engineer essentially maintains the flow of this of the project from the beginning to the ending, deploying many tools in which can actually do in an automated manner, maintain the data pipelines, ML training and deployment, automatic deployment or deployment as per the requirement. That's the difference between a data scientist, a data engineer, ML engineer, ML ops engineer.